Hello, welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thank you very much for tuning in and joining me in my exploration of the incredible, amazing, diverse, wide world of pens. And you see one rotating in front of you, held up by a crab. It's a happy crab. He's working. And it's a nice, stealthy pen. Much different than any other stealthy pens that I have. I think it's extremely well made. Visually interesting. And it's an Asveen V126. And that's their vac filler. But it's the one without a lot of metal overlay on it. We're going to compare these to the other pens in the Asveen line and some other pens that might be in that stealthy category for your visual entertainment. So we're going to let the turntable go around and let the crab give you a wink and we're going to dive in into the details. Stay tuned. So this pen intrigued me when I saw it and Asveen offered to send me one for review so it arrived few days ago and it exceeds my expectations it's just very stealthy in a stealthy way you know all the metal bits are coated with a black coating which is not a hundred percent matte and not definitely not glossy but really blends in to the way that acrylic is frosted and it's a dark acrylic the cat comes off in about one and a quarter turns between one and a quarter and one and a half and we'll see a nice stealthy nib all the other dimensions are very similar to the other v126s that i have and as i mentioned it's a vac filler we'll go into more detail a little bit later so i have the pen in blue which i really loved but i have to admit the black version certainly is attractive in its own way very subtle and then they also made one with just a translucent resin that wasn't matte finished so again it's a, it's a very interesting approach to a model providing us with a lot of choices visually and what we might like and Asveen has always written well for me so I anticipate that this pen will not disappoint in the writing department. So here's some other versions of pens which fall into that stealthy category. So here's the V169 from Asveen. Similar coating, but it's that skeleton overlay. And it's a clear acrylic. Yes, it has ink in it. it I would use this regularly. But you can see how the frosted dark acrylic just ends a whole level of stealthiness to the pen which i really really like and then of course Jin Hao did their hollow 100 series and this is the matte black overlay one but again it's a clear acrylic and it's a silvery converter in there so it's not visually as clean obviously the moon man a1 in this black coating is definitely a contender in the stealthy category and I like just this roll stop with nothing down here at the end of the writing end and here's a Hong Dion one piston filler just one red ring there and what's nice is also this is very stealthy as far as the nib goes too so they did a good job and there's the ink window and as we turn it over to an N6, eh, I don't remember all those numbers and names. And here's just another version of a Hong Dion where the metal clip here in top finial is more of a, I call it a dark chrome, but it's still a shiny type of finish. But the rest of the pen is matte, so it's an interesting contrast. And it's a pull-off cap, and you have a smaller number five nib there, but also in black. And this feels good in the hand. It kind of has like a kind of a rubbery texture to it but it'll hold up well and I've used that pen regularly for uh, since I got it many many months so there's your view of some other stealthy pens so here we have the uh, V126 in stealth disassembled as much as I'm going to do you know I unscrewed the nib assembly I like the two o-rings there and I flush this so I'm very comfortable that this is clean and ready for inking 
I just think this is great with the matte finish on all the plastic bits and a matte black coating on all the metal bits. Nice engraving. And the vac filler comes out like you normally would expect on screw the blind cap, but let's say for some reason you needed to remove the vac filler. Well, you see those flat spots there. And you would first think that you grab your trusty wing sung wrench and it would fit, but it doesn't. It's too big. So then, and then I go to my Twisby wrench, which works with Pelicans, and that fits pretty good. It's not a perfect fit, it's a little bit loose, but it should work to unscrew it. And also you could get a pair of adjustable pliers or other types of wrenches to fit here because you got a big open space unlike piston fillers. So exactly how big is it? Well, we take our rusty calibers here, zero them out, find that flat spot, and we'll see it's like 6.7. So the Twisby wrench and Pelicans are seven millimeters. The Wingsung is about 7.4, and most other Chinese pens are bigger. So this is the smallest one, but this is not a large pen. So therefore, that's good. Yeah, well-made pen, easy to maintain. So what ink to put in? Well, I don't have this in any active pen right now, but I have been very impressed when I've used this eel black ink from noodlers the eels inks are bulletproof and lubricated so a great combination and it is a black ink i got a pretty full fill based on weight i measured it to be 2.5 milliliters so i did the two fills so the first one goes down fills it about halfway, you invert the pen, you pull the vac piston down until it gets in contact with the ink that you already have, go back in the bottle, go back down. It may be added a few tenths of a milliliter, but not a whole lot. But that black ink certainly does well with this stealthy black pen. is a great writer for an extra fine nib it's very smooth so a lot of that may have to do with the lubricated noodlers black eel ink that I have in this pen but it's certainly black at least as far as my view goes again another great nib from Asveen a pleasure to write with yes it's a number six yeah, I enjoy my Asveens. So I have a fine nib in the blue pen. So let's see how that compares. It is definitely a wider line. So I'd say they're running on a generous side, but certainly the fine nib is wider than the extra fine and the medium is wider than the fine, which is what you want in a pen. And this is also extremely smooth like the extra fine is. Asveen has been very consistent and excellent nibs. So now we're here to sum up and final comments, editorial comments. So another great pen from Asveen. It's great aesthetically. I find it to be just amazing. I enjoy it. Tactfully, it feels great in the hand. I love that kind of uh, texture that the matte pen has no, it just looks great if you want more details I'll give you links to my other V126 reviews where you can get more dimensions and everything else but it does post post deeply doesn't change the balance at all fairly secure 
but yeah, I don't post. So if you don't have an Esveen pen, get one. They're available on Amazon, Etsy, eBay. You know, I'll give you some links to some postings if you just want to click and do it that way. So I spoke too soon. The pen is no longer available on the Asveen store, not on Amazon, not on Etsy, and not on eBay. It is still available for some sellers on eBay, but they're not sellers I'm familiar with and they seem to be fairly new sellers. Yeah, too bad. I'd hope to be able to uh, give some promo to Asveen, but they've been very good to me and I love their pens, so hopefully you can find one that you like. The Stealth one, eh, be careful of buying from a new seller. So I thank all of you for watching. Hopefully you found this interesting, entertaining, educational. Hey, I enjoy making videos and hopefully you enjoy watching them. I hope this finds everyone safe, healthy, and happy. Being able to enjoy your pens or just enjoy me enjoying my pens, however that works for you. Put some ink down. Have fun. We've reached the end of this video. Ah, this is an unbelievable extra fine nib. Not as extra fine a line as you might want, but ah, oh, it's a feel great on the paper. And that's really a dense line. So with that, final comments, we will say bye. Yeah, I have a lot of pens in the queue. Stay tuned for watching.